in your life, you know, you have taken initiation, you know, and chanting for, you know, almost more than a decade and, uh, you know, be with devotees all the time. But sometimes we feel that, you know, these negative emotions, these anarthas are still there and, you know, sometimes become more stronger. So what what is going wrong? I mean, what what is meaning by you know, properly taking shelter and what what is wrong? I mean, yeah, that's a nice point. You see, sometimes, you know, we we have taken to the process, and then we are experiencing certain negative emotions. Example: If you have a, a, a typical example, say in Africa or in India, you have some cities that are really dusty. Say Vrindavan. If in a, in a room in Vrindavan during the during the summer. A room in Vrindavan or a house in Vrindavan, people don't live there for one month. It will be so, you know, dusty. So when you come, you want to clean it. You want to clean the room. You want to clean the house. You start sweeping. What happens? This dust, they spring up. They start choking you. And then you say, What? I am trying to clean this house. And I'm even getting, look, look at it, when you walk into the house, the dust is on the ground, I mean on the floor. Mm -hmm. It is not affecting you so much at that time. When it starts sweeping, then it starts affecting you. <laughs> <laughs> so, the process of back to yoga, or process of chanting, is also like that. That we are cleaning, and all of the sentiments will spring up. So you keep cleaning. You sprinkle water in the house. You keep sweeping. Open the windows. So, but if we are sweeping the house and when we lock up all the windows, we don't even sprinkle water. And then we're complaining. I'm being choked up. <laughs> we should open the windows. We should sprinkle water. So, it basically boils down to the point that, for instance, in the chanting of Krishna's holy names, there are ten basic offenses we need to avoid. And besides that, if we read the nature of devotion, there are offenses. Vaishnav apara, dam apara, so many apara. And aparas, they check our spiritual progress like anything. And so we have to be careful. We read nectar of devotion, we find all of these things. And so we have to be careful how we deal with people. Because everyone, Lord Krishna mentioned, Mama, even so, Jiva Loki, Jiva Buddha, Sanat. Everyone Krishna claims this is part and parcel. Now, when someone pinches your pinky finger, it affects your body. You feel the pain. So in a similar way, if we are careful not to be offensive to even anyone, then our progress, our spiritual progress, will be expedited. But if we become offensive to people, and it doesn't matter who you are, if you say, well, um, you know, I'm a Swami, I'm a Paramahamsa, I can't be offended to anybody. No, you'll get your reactions. <laughs> you'll get your reactions. See, the good thing, the solace about our devotional life is no one is a sacred cow. Nobody is a sacred cow. Therefore, you find that those who are really advanced, if there's any little complaint, they will apologize. Any little complaint, they hear about it, they will apologize. That's just simple, understand the simple knowledge of preventing a disaster. Because accumulation of hearts from people can really destroy our spiritual life. Yes, so we are, you see, that is why we need to learn friendliness, love, and harmony. So, 
we do our best, but we, as we are doing our best, we should be more meticulous in our everyday realities. Even the chanting, the chanting is a science. And if, you, if we're not going to any of these uh, Japanese, we should try. It's a very good experience. It looks like, okay, I'm doing my chanting, I'm okay. We are not okay. There are always rooms for us to improve. Yeah. So, there's a lot that we can always work on ourselves. We can always improve. So the process is such that we're making progress, and sometimes we don't really know that we're making progress. This is another thing. We're making progress, and sometimes we wonder, hey, what's going on? <laughs> I remember someone was complaining. So I said, but if you feel that this Krishna conscious, the channel is not doing anything to you, stop chanting for two weeks. He, he just burst into laughter. He said, oh, this is a very bad advice. I said, you have complaining. <laughs> yeah. Feel, I have that experience that, uh, that awareness, like basically, you know, we get used to so much in the morning prayers and everything. Uh, a couple of days, you know, due to work or something, I miss it. On the third day, if I go to the temple room to do full arti, I feel like it is a new experience again. You know, it's, it's a kind of I, I, I miss that connection uh, so much time, like, you know, it's, it's more kind of okay, let me do more <laughs> than usual. Yes, yeah, so there's, we can always improve if we are, if we are more, you see, me, being meticulous in our spiritual life is just unlimited. And the more we are doing that, even in our chanting, you chant. And some, you know, sometimes we, we feel, I've been in the movement for 20 years, 25 years, 10 years, 15 years. You chant it. Chant in chant and re record your chanting. Yeah. Record your chanting and listen whether you are getting all the 32 syllables. Try this, experiment it. If you're using six rounds, six minutes to chant one round or five minutes or seven minutes, use that at the same speed, but record it. <laughs> and then listen whether you are getting all of the 32 syllables. So this this is a science. Yeah. It looks very simple, simple things, simple exams people can fail. <laughs> yeah. Exam is very simple. When you go in, you just rush. <laughs> and then when you, by the time you pass the paper to the professor or to the teacher, you're reflecting about what you written. Oh, I made a mistake there. Oh, I made a mistake. <laughs> Because it's so simple, you don't need to crack your bread, you rush to it. So, a devotional life, Prince of Bhakti Yoga also looks very simple. But we should not rush it. We should be meticulous. Yeah. Alright. So we end there. And uh, thank you again for coming. So the Papa Yeah. There's only a spot people say something.